hello so today i thought i would do a fun video i mean i've never really seen anybody do this but i figured maybe this would be a fun thing for me and my subscribers um i have like an entire bag of random samples of fragrances that i have collected over the last few months and i always like just put them in this bag and then what ends up happening is i'll just sort of be like oh i'll try it at some point because i hate kind of spraying a ton of fragrances um and i'm really particular about fragrances but i feel like today is the day and wouldn't it be kind of fun to like smell these all together so we have a couple like there's some here i've smelled before but a lot of them are just like random like these are from sephora tons of different places and i figured like let's just go through them and see if they smell good at all as a reference i tend to like like woodsy scents um like i like by the fireplace by replica um i like sort of this is sweet but this is ellis brooklyn b i've been into this a lot lately um i'm into just like different fragrances but tend to be woodsy or citrusy not very floral i'm not really into like super sickening sweet but i do like this b one but for me that's not like way too on the side of sweet when i think of that i think of that like uh, candy scents not really into those okay so <laughs> just that quick little uh, disclaimer the first one I just got this one in this is nomad and this is by Chloe so let's try this out I'm interested to see what this smells like so I'm just gonna spray them on here because I'm definitely not gonna put them on myself until I know they smell good and then what ends up happening is like I'll either save them okay this just smells pretty normal to me like nothing really that interesting it smells really like powdery but it does smell nice it smells clean um what do they call this nomad or i guess it's nomad it's nomad right i'm like what does this smell like it literally doesn't say anything this smells nice it smells clean it reminds me of sort of like the philosophy fresh scent so that's okay we'll keep this aside it doesn't seem like it'll give me a headache so we'll put this one on the maybe pile <laughs> okay so then we're gonna go to this one I just got in. This is the Narciso Narciso Rodriguez um, Noir Rose. It doesn't seem like I would probably like this because I'm not that huge of a fan of rose. Rose just to me is a little bit overpowering. It depends. Well, that's a cute little sample though. I like the color. So let's see what this smells like. Ooh, I say that and it smells really good. What does this smell like? I mean, it doesn't really smell like rose to me. I wouldn't have called this rose. Oh, it, I guess it's, so it's like a noir rose. So maybe that's what it is. Um, it says it's bergamot. I love bergamot. Um, tuberose, uh, vanilla notes. Oh, that's probably why. Ooh, this smells really good. Okay, I think it's because of the bergamot, but I actually really like that. I would never, ever have thought I would have liked that. So that's really funny. So that's the, um, I guess it's muse. M-U-S-C, whatever that means, or however, however you say that, Noir Rose or Rosé. <laughs> okay, well then we've got the Aqua de Gia. This is Giorgio Armani, um, Eau de Parfum, Aqua de Gia. So this is a female version, right? Because the Gio is the male. I haven't smelled this in years. I used to buy this for my brother like every year for Christmas, the Aqua de Gio. Mm, doesn't smell bad, but... It does smell, I mean, you know, it smells like water. It smells like the beach, but not like in a great way. Okay, this one's a no for me. This is like my first, definitely not something I would want to smell like. If it was beachy, I do like the suntan one. There's that, what is that, the Soleil one from Tom Ford that I do like. It smells like suntan lotion, which is, you know, weirdly appealing sometimes in summertime. <laughs> okay, this is Boca Viva from Valentino. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm not <laughs> I feel like pronunciation is hard, right? What is this? I wish they would give us like some sort of notes in here. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, I feel like I see writing in here. Let's see if we can rip this open and see what this says. Uh, it's flowers. What does this say? Orange blossom, bergamot, and that's like it. But. I don't love it. it. Smells weirdly like, smells like my grandmother, but like not in a good way. Like musty. Yeah, that's a no. Okay, then we've got Burberry Hero. Does this say anything? I wish they would give something like quickly on it without, <laughs> it truly is a mystery. Like I don't know if this is men's or not. I do wear 
um, men. Sometimes my husband and I got anthracite from Tom Ford and I wear that a lot. Even though it's like, I guess it's a unisex, but it seems more masculine, but I personally like how it smells. Okay, this is Hero. I feel like this is a, a men's scent. That smells really good. It's definitely a men's scent, so I'm going to set that aside for my husband. It does smell really nice. I like the, if you see here, it looks like, I guess that's what the bottle looks like. That does smell really good. Okay, what do we have next? Next up, we have, these are like little bottles. This is the Black Opium. I feel like I've smelled this before. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but I do feel like, oh, this is like a bigger size. I probably got this at Sephora. Okay, let's see. I don't know. It smells like licorice. I wonder what this is supposed to smell like, but I feel like it smells like licorice. Yeah, it smells very licorice -y. That's a no, unfortunately, because that's like a big, a much bigger size. So that's the Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. No, it definitely smells licorice -y. Okay, <laughs> I'm just throwing these off the floor. <laughs> I'll pick them up at the end. Um, this is the Diptyque Paris. Um, what is this? to say uh a rosé i'm not sure if we'll be able to say when we pull it out <laughs> okay this is yeah so it's a or a rosé eau de parfum okay so made in france see this is the kind of rose i'm afraid of i'm afraid it's gonna be like really really floral because some of the french fragrances i've had have been super floral yeah that smells like ridiculously like a rose but that's a no rose. So I really liked the Narciso Rodriguez one, but this one, no. I mean, if you like rose, I'm sure that's like a really fancy perfume because I feel like the I've had one of these ones before. It smells really good if you like rose, but way too strong for me. That one's a no. Okay, we've got Gucci Guilty. Is this a men's? It looks like it's a men's. Let's smell it. I don't, it doesn't really smell, oh yeah it says pour um, no, that's not a good, that's not a good one, nope, <laughs> okay, so then we have another YSL, this is, whoa, oh my goodness, throw it, okay, this is, it just says YSL Eau de Parfum, but it's not, I don't see like a, maybe it's like the, oh maybe it's just Y, I don't know, Okay, let's smell this. This looks like a men's. Let's see. I mean, I don't think it smells bad though, but I don't think it smells great. I have no idea what that could smell like. That's a no. Apparently the YSL are not doing it for me. No, don't love that one. That was probably like a really fancy sample too, because these are like a bigger bottle. I think I do think I do remember the YSL like being like a forty-five dollar like purchase that you had to get that sample with. Not great. Okay, so this is La Homme Prada, so obviously a men's. I do feel like it's like good for me to smell these, because if I'm gonna buy like a uh, cologne for my husband, it'll be me who gets it. So, ooh, that smells interesting. It's weird, it has this textured cover here and it like immediately made me think of leather. So I wonder if that's what it's supposed to smell like. Okay, it says, a fragrance of pears, like a game of olfactory mirrors, neroli, pepper, amber, and iris, violet, and uranium, cedar, and patchouli, juxtaposed in the airy, sensual, and quintessentially Prada mix. I actually think this one smells pretty good. So I'm gonna put that on the side uh, for my husband. Okay, what do we have next? This is Munger Lang. Uh, eau de parfum so it's mon so my right okay so let's smell this what does that smell like hold on it's like super light i'm trying to think of what it smells like Ooh, it's like a little bit of ambery i wonder okay it says something here um lavender um, and then it has jasmine from India, sandalwood, vanilla, 
I definitely smell the vanilla. Ooh, I do like this one. Okay, I'm gonna put this, this one seems like more complex. I'm into this. Okay, that smells really good. <laughs> my bad pile is definitely bigger than my good. Okay, this is My Way by Giorgio Armani. I think I've smelled this before and I think I didn't like it, but let's smell it again. Mm, no, yeah, still don't like it. What does that smell like? It smells like cheap bubble gum. Oh, no, that is not a good one. That's the My Way. <laughs> <laughs> no it's funny because fragrances are so personal so I feel like this is a funny thing to do but I mean I had to go through this anyways so why not share it okay this is flower bomb I know I don't like this scent I've smelled this many times but while we're here yep yep still don't like it no mm, that's like the kind of floral that gives me headaches for sure okay um and then the last well we do have a couple more Okay, we've got Polo Ralph Lauren Red. Let's smell that. This looks like a men's. Mm, what does that smell like? Hold on, we gotta open this one up. Um, Woodsy Spice. Oh. Yeah, that one's a no for me. It's like woodsy, but it doesn't smell like complex woodsy. That's a no. Okay, we've got Jimmy Choo Man. Ooh, that's a that's an intense name. Oh, and then there's two. So there's Man on this side, and then Man Blue on this side. Okay, let's smell Man first. <laughs> mm, that one's a no. I don't even know what that smells like, but it's gross. Nope, that one's a no. Okay, let's try Blue. <laughs> Ooh, this is the Macy exclusive. Oh, it just smells like alcohol. I don't know, maybe it's because they have this in this like little scratchy thing, but it does not smell good. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it smells literally like hand sanitizer, which is disappointing at this point. Who wants to smell more hand sanitizer? <laughs> Certainly not, not not I. Okay, we have Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail. Le Mail. Um, this says it is Power of Freshness Mint, Lavender, uh, Shaving Soap, and vanilla. Well, that's all, that sounds really good. Let's see what that smells like. Ooh, I can definitely smell the mint, right? Oh my gosh. I like this because it smells like fresh, like just super fresh. Okay, so that one's good. That's going to go on the yes for the men pile. <laughs> okay, so the last little one I have in here is all by its lonesome. And this is, oh, this is Floral Street Electric Rhubarb. I, I, rhubarb. I already smelled this when it came in. My daughter really liked the pouch that it was in. And so we smelled it together and I remember not liking it. But let me just spray it on this. Just, uh, I like the Flower Street, Street products, but it just depends. It has to, like, if it's too floral, I'm just not going to like it. Like, I want mixtures. Yeah. Uh, oh, like, instantly a headache. I don't know what's in that, but... Okay, so then I have two of these uh, Ralph Lauren, Ralph's Club. So let's smell that. This is a men's. Mm, it smells good. It smells, I'm trying to think of what it smells like. I feel like I have, my husband has like an Azaro one that I think this kind of smells like. Mm, I say no to that one. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but I wouldn't buy that. Okay, so then we've got Prada Ocean. Wait, we've got a couple in here. Okay, we've got Prada Ocean, and then we have Prada Candy. And I don't think I've smelled Prada Candy, but just the name makes me think it's a no. But let's let's smell it. That's the thing about fragrance samples, right? Okay, so the clean. It smells good. Like, it does smell very, like... It smells citrusy. Okay, I do like that. I'm so, sort of surprised. It smells better on like second smelling. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what that is. What does it say? Bergamot. Oh, it's the bergamot. That's definitely what I'm smelling. Um, contrasted with the extremely sophistication and sensuality of vetiver and elegant iris notes. A magnet call for New Horizons. Okay, I can see that. So I, it's the bergamot that I like in that. <laughs> Bergamot apparently calls to me every time. Uh, okay, let's try this candy. So 
sometimes these paper ones don't they are not good i feel like i don't smell anything there they're saying that it's musk delicate iris and caramel i don't really get anything from that okay so <laughs> Uh, of these there's like a bunch i threw down there already there's one two three four five six seven eight nine there's ten that i did not like and then the three female scents i liked were mon Guerlain, um Mu muse noir rose from narciso rodriguez i mean how do you think you say m-u-s-c i'm not sure but um and then the last one is the nomad from chloe um, and then I, those are the only three female scents that I liked. <laughs> um, and then I probably like, I probably wouldn't buy them. The only one I really liked of that would be the Narciso Rodriguez. And then next to that would be the Garlam, but those were the ones I liked the most. And then I liked four of the men's scents for my husband. So I liked the Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Mail, uh, this is L'Homme Prada and the Burberry Hero, and then I did like the Prada Ocean. So interesting, I'll keep these aside, and then I'll like try them out over the next little bit, but I feel good to clear out all of these fragrance samples, and I can just get rid of the ones I don't like. Oh, I forgot, this had a flower bomb on the front, and I thought, oh, I already tried that, but then the back it says Spice Bomb Night Vision. So I guess this is the new um, kind of flower bomb in the line of bombs with that. So let's try this one. What does that smell like? It says black spices, whatever that means, and evergreen resin. I kind of do like that. Okay, I'm going to put that aside. I like that way better than Flower Bomb by <laughs> Victor and Rolf. Okay, so those were the ones that I liked. It's a very, very small list, <laughs> but I do feel good about clearing that out. So thank you. If you thought that was kind of fun, let me know. Maybe I can do some more of these in a couple of months when I have an accumulation of sense. All right, thanks. Bye.